Hi Refreshers, Nicole Jowers from Refresh and Style. So I'm so excited because I'm about to share with you guys my favorite things for Christmas. Yes, I know I just did my fall video. Yes, I know it is not December. And yes, I don't care because Christmas is everything. And like, I am like the biggest Christmas elf. I think everything about Christmas is magical. I make it a three month experience and I've cracked out all of my stuff from last year. I definitely have my plaid earrings that go with my red lipstick. I definitely have my, it's blinking, but it's sunny out so you can't tell. My blinking light bulb necklace that like someone gave me last year and I they were like, do you think this is tacky? And I'm like, yes, and I love it and I need it and I'm wearing it when I'm holiday shopping. I also cracked out my holiday plaid because you have to have plaid for holiday, let's be real. You have to do plaid, it's a thing. And I also found my jingle jangly bracelet. So this is gonna be with me as I go down the aisles of Hobby Lobby and show you all the must find decor for Christmas this year. So join me inside as I jingle down the aisles. Going straight in for the Christmas stuff, guys. And look at the plaid. Look at the coziness. It's everywhere. I love, love, love these colors. It is just screaming Christmas in here. And we have fake snow over here. I am loving all the frosted snow stuff this year. I think it's gonna be my new thing. And I'm looking for, I'm gonna get distracted. Here's my keychains. This is cheap, I think I need this. It's going in the cart because I need it right now. I need it. I'm gonna look for the Winter Wonderland aisle and it's the aisle that has all the trees. Do you guys like white lights or colored lights on your tree? Drop in the comments, I like white. Here it is, I see the white light. I see the Winter Wonderland aisle. Here we go, you ready? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And I see frosted trees. I love these. These are the best. We're gonna do it again, because it's that great. You're gonna see all these trees again. Colored lights, white lights. Which one do you guys like? I just think the white gives a much better look. So I love this. I love these ornaments. I love how they have all the wood. I love the farmhouse. I love how there's just different options for anything you want, like any style in the store. And it's 50% off. Like all of this stuff is so cheap because it's 50% off. This is cute. Look at these angel wings. Those are adorable. This is adorable. Ugh, I think I need this one. How much is this? I mean, guys, it comes to like two bucks. Like, come on, how can you not? I think I need it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy this one. I am going to buy this one. I, and they're all categorized too. Like they're all like, here's all your crosses. So if you need white, if you need wood, if you need red, they have all different colors for you. And that's what I love. They don't just have one option. You can get it to match your tree. You can get it to match your home decor. Anything you're needing, Hobby Lobby has. And look at all these. They have tons of options. All these individual um, ornaments. I love getting individual ornaments. This is so cute. It's a cookie sheet that sparkles. Like, how cute is this? I think I need that one too. So cute. They have pretzels and they have, what is that? Oh my gosh, how cute. They have like donuts and ice cream cones. Gluten-free treats I can't ever eat. Um, or no, they're not gluten-free. <laughs> I need the gluten-free donuts, but they're really cute. And guys, this is trouble. This is really big trouble. So if you guys need ornaments for your tree this year, Hobby Lobby. So they have small trees over here. I never have a small tree. Maybe I need a small tree this year. Yeah, Do you guys I'm have a small a tree? Video. I don't know if we need one. <laughs> so we got more aisles of ornaments no, and 
These ones are really bright. I can see them from here. They're a little too bright for me on my tree, but if you guys like these, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I have boys and they have a remote control video game ornament for the tree and it's cheap. It'll be like five bucks because it's 50% off. I'm just gonna keep showing you guys that everything's 50% off. So, I mean, if you guys like different styles like this, these are kind of almost like those painted glass. My kids play football. This football's kind of cute. I don't love it as much as the wood, but if you guys want, these are like more kiddish ones. Unicorns and the pretty girly ones. Um, tacos? Anyone want a taco tree? That'd be interesting. Taco tree? I don't know. I don't, those aren't my favorite. I'm liking this golden green over here. I'm liking what this is about. I'm really loving the detail on this tree. Like, look at this tree, guys. The detail on it, the colors, when it's 50% off, it's cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for everything. I like this green. Is this like a dark, dark hunter? Kind of like that. Kind of loving that color. And, oh, that reminds me of my brother. He used to love the train around the tree. My kids never really got into that. But let's see what we got over here. Oh, we got packaged ornaments. So I usually get all the individual ones, but if you guys want packaged ornaments, they've got tons here, tons of them. And they've also got, for all of you DIY mamas, they've got stuff like this. So this you can make a wreath with, you can make a centerpiece arrangement. Love the colors on here. I'm just not crafty. Like, <laughs> it's cheap. It'll be like five bucks after the sale, but uh, I like to buy it already done. How many of you guys like to do your own? Like, do you like to DIY and make it? Or do you have the talent? Because I, I don't, I like to buy it pre-made, honestly. Uh, but they have, they should have wreaths somewhere, like the plain wreaths to find those. But they've got different colors. So I love that they're sectioned by color. Like if you want gold, you've got an entire aisle of your gold. We just did the red and the green. So I love that it's sectioned off and it's kind of in zones for you already. Ooh, I like these strands here of garland. So these would be cute to wrap around your tree or even to put over like a doorway or a hallway. Love the beads, I love the metal, I love the burlap. Um, I think I saw those in a different color too. We've got the buffalo plaid. You know I'm a fan of those. And we also have over here, oh, the frosted. It is my year for frosted. Anything that's frosted is grabbing my attention this year. I really, really like that. Love the frosted snowy look. And I think over here, well, yes, they were the stockings. So let me tell you guys, you got to get like sock sweater feeling stockings like these, okay? I have them at home. I'm going to have to find them. Now that I think about it, I don't know where they are, but I love these like fuzzy, furry ones, the sock ones, like this one over here, like this, this black and white one looks like an, it feels like an actual sock. This one's got the fuzz. I just love the different ones. We've got skirts. Oh, I do need a new tree skirt this year. Uh, that was on my list. I just don't know what I want. This fur is cute on the skirt too, if you want it to match your stocking. I feel like I might have too much of the plaid already because it matches my leggings. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I have to find mine because I do have the sweater sock stocking. So I need to find where those are because they weren't in the bucket I took out yesterday. But anyways, oh, I think I see more DIY stuff for you, DIY mamas. So if you want to make your own wreath, we have these garland. We have these, um, oh, we've got frosted. They've got the frosted berries. What are they called? Berry, holly. They got shimmer, gold, again, by color, silver. Oh, and I see the dark red berries that have a little frost on them. So I'm really liking those too. So again, if you want to DIY, if you want to make your own wreath, if you want to make your own arrangement, they've got tons of stuff here for that. These are cute too. So again, DIY, put them in an arrangement, put them in a wreath. So I love that they have the pre-made ones, but they also have ones if you want to make them. I haven't seen the the um, plain wreaths yet, though. Let's see, they've got to be close to here to make your own. Up oh, here's the garland. There they are. Okay, so you guys, 50% off. Here's the blank wreaths. If you guys want to make those, you can stick the holly that we just showed you in there, and you can make your own amazing wreath. I'm gonna find the ones that are already done for me. So, oh, I love the Grinch. This is a really cute quote, and their signs are pretty reasonable usually. 
Um, and especially like this is 50% off. So it's 40 bucks, 50% off, 20 bucks for a sign with a wood border. That's really good. I really like that. Grinch, we've got a little Grinch in Hobby Lobby if you guys like that. Who doesn't love the Grinch movie? I love every Christmas movie. We've got some Elf on the Shelves. We've got some trees. This one reminds me of like gumdrops and lollipops. This is cute. Dear Santa, it's a long story. How much is this? It's always a long story. You guys all know I love me some quotes. I love the quote section of any store. I meant to behave. <laughs> I meant to, I'm sorry, there was a lot of other options. Christmas is my favorite. Anybody else? I hope that everyone's favorite is Christmas. This is, this is everything. I'm not a morning person, guys, but $5.99. On Christmas morning, I definitely am. It's the only time I am. And 50% off of $5.99. Like, come on. Super cute finds. I love me the quote section. I love, love all of these. They're for every style, too. We've got pom-poms. We have colors. We have outside stuff. We have quotes for outside. My kids would love this. I really like this one. Santa, I want it all. Don't we all? Isn't that a song? I want it all. I don't know if it's a song. Super cute. I know that there is even more stuff. Every time, look at snowman. These remind me of my grandma. My grandma used to decorate her whole house in snowmen. So cute. I love it. I love all of it. Oh, this is like elegance. Look at this. Are these black velvet? Oh my gosh. These are black velvet Christmas trees. Guys, this is like the elegant part of the store. It's got the plaid again, but I am loving, oh my gosh, this store's pictures. I'm loving this. I am loving this. This is like dining room, like the black, the green, the dark green with the gold like dust on it here. Oh my gosh. It's like everything. I'm really, really liking this. Really liking this section. Merry Christmas, y'all. How adorable. Okay. Reason for the season. There's got to be one that says reason for the season. That's why we celebrate Christmas, right? So, adore him. Come let us adore him. Christ our Savior. Peace and goodwill. Is there one behind here? Like, there's got to be a reason for the season. Oh, holy night. Okay, well, they need to make a reason for the season one. <laughs> Just saying. Um, but these are really cute. I love all the wood here. And then over here, we've got some more quote signs. Loving these trees. Loving these words. ah, Super cute, guys. Go to Hobby Lobby. Look at the snowman. Like, look at the texture. It's made out of rope. And I love the things with the legs. It's usually like the elf on the shelf. Like, the elf sits on the shelf. It's great for, like, your vanity, a shelf, um, a loft area. The It's so cute when they hang out like that. Believe. Believe. It's my favorite word of the season. Believe is always my favorite word. Here's where I wanted to find. So these are the pre-made. This is for all of us non-DIY mamas out there. Raise your hand right now. If you're a DIY, we love you. But if you're not, you're like me and I love you too. I like when the berries like this are already on here. I love the frosted. Love, oh, look at this, like the snow. And these are really, oh my God, this one's my favorite. This is it. The snow, the frost, the berries, the acorns, the everything. And, and this is pretty long. Like you could use this for so much. Look how long this is. Connects. And it is, I mean, $59.99 and then you get half off? I mean, come on. See, my thing is, is like I'd buy all the stuff to do it myself and it would cost a lot of money and I'd ruin it anyway. So I might as well buy it already made. But look at all of these options, guys. There's just options for days. And then we've got the wreaths that are already made. Let's see which one I like the best. These are all cute. Up, oh, guess what Nicole wants, the frosted one. Are these cranberries? I think they're cranberries, right? That one's really cute. Oh, this one's cute too. Oh, look at this aisle. This aisle is probably gonna be my favorite. I love white. I love the white Christmas. Have, have a white Christmas. Oh, warm, warm winter wishes? 
These are so cute. Look at these. It's like a burlap present with the plaid bow on top, different sizes. Oh, this Christmas tree farm. This is all amazing, guys. And this side is like just very soft and winter wonder, believe. Believe again. Winter wonderland over here. It's giving me like the soft colors, the soft pillows, the snow. The joy, I like this. Is this an ornament? Is this a uh, for the tree? I think I might need this. It's kind of looking like my boho-ish vibe. I think I need it. Cute, right? I mean, come on. I Every aisle I go into, I like more and more, but this one's definitely one of my favorite aisles. Believe, this is it. If I see this again, I think I have to buy it. Believe, like it's sparkly, it's wood, it's farmhousey. Believe is my favorite Christmas word. Like, I just love it. 50% off. It's all 50% off in case you forgot. So many options, so many trees. These are cute. These are connected. You get a two, you get two standing trees, the big and little one. It's sparkly. Those are really cute. I can't decide. I can't decide. Like, I, do I want, do, do I want shimmer? Do I want snow? Do I want gold? Do I want silver? What do I want? Here's some nutcrackers. I'm not, I've never been a fan, but they're there. They're there if you want them. We've got some Santas. We all love Santa himself. We've got sparkling trees. Oh my. Like these are the best thing ever. Every color. We've got gold. We've got silver. We've got white. We've got more over here. We've got like, is this feathers? What? Oh my gosh. It's like soft feathery. And this one. Oh my gosh. This like feels like legit snow. And then we've got the silver sparkles. Oh, this means I'm going to need to buy this side. I said if we saw it again, I have to buy it. How much is it? All right, 50% off. It really won't be that bad. It's going in my cart. It's got, it's got to go in my cart, guys. Like I said, if I saw it again, it was meant to be my believe sign. These are so cute. We've got different kinds of snow globes and lanterns. I'm seeing really, really cute artwork here. We got Santa. This one, guys, this one's making me stop in my tracks. Look at the detail on this. Like, the paint is risen. I don't know if you guys can see this. This makes me wish I could be an artist. Like, there's sparkles thrown on it. There's different colors. This is, like, legit beautiful. Like, this is a really beautiful piece. This one's really cute, too. We've got an angel. I wish that I had this talent. So pretty. Merry Christmas. We've got like a shiplap going on. Merry Christmas. Oh man. Just doesn't stop. We got pillows. Oh man. Guys, if you need Christmas, I think they've got everything you need. I think they have everything. Which one's my favorite? This one's cute. I like the merry and bright. It's got the tassels. I love the colors. The red with the black and the white. That one might have to be my favorite. There's more down here. Let's check out what we have going on over here. Marry everything. And it's like a sweater. That's cute. Marry everything. Hmm. I might be using that as a phrase. Got some more blankets here. I have my favorite blanket at home. Oh, gingerbread. We got gingerbread bakery. We've got cookie jars. These remind me of up north in my family too. We always had cookies and cookie jars. 50% off in case you forgot. 50% off. 50% off in case you guys forgot. How cute. So here's the trick, guys. Check online and see if their 50% off Christmas items is going on. And if not, the regular price is, or they have a cute, off regular price, they have coupons for 40% off. Um, these are cute. These look more like maybe for outside. Santa stops here. Got some snowmen. My kids would like this one. Milk and cookies. Santa stops here. That's cute. It's all cute. Let's go back over here. So I think that we're not done. I bet there's going to be some more Christmas stuff down the aisles. Like there's always Christmas stuff everywhere in this store. The holiday stuff's always everywhere. So you got to make sure you go throughout the whole entire store so you don't miss anything because they have them on end caps. They have them on the other end of the store. They have them everywhere. So I'm betting there's more over here. Let's see what we got going on. Yep, more end caps. And I am loving this. Absolutely loving this. Look at this. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I wish I could sing too. 
These quote signs are cute. I love the fence. I love the beads. We got more Grinch. More joy. Joy to the world. All right, look at this one. We're back to the white. This is like our white farmhousey. Really, really cute details here, guys. We've got another great, great picture that I wish I could draw. That would be amazing. Look at these guys. These are fancy. These ones will look a little bit more fancy. They've got another end cap here. I'm really liking that. That's like a fabric material. Oh, Christmas prayer. May this Christmas bring happiness into our homes, peace within our lives, and Jesus in our heart. Help us remember this season is about the birth of your son and his love for us. Oh, I just love it. Merry Christmas. Gotta remember why we're here, right guys? Shopping in Hobby Lobby is the best thing ever today. I've seen it all. I've seen, I've seen this twice too. Does that mean I need to buy this one? <laughs> um, all right, I'm kind of liking this. This is like candy cane and this, it's like a sweater with a wood white base and stripes and polka dots. This is really cute. I don't know why I'm loving this right now. It's kind of different. $12.99? And half off, naughty and nice. This is cute, I think I want this. This is like for my mood. Like, what mood am I in? Flip it. <laughs> I'm really liking this end cap. This is kind of more fun, the white and the red. The Christmas trees. I love how they have it all categorized. It's like, just buy everything on the end cap and you just got it all. Bows, we got some more pillows. Oh. Guys, all right, let's see what's over here. 50% off. They just don't want us to forget that it's 50% off. <laughs> all right, so I see some Christmas trees up ahead. I see some Christmas stuff. Um, oh, okay. So this is the kind of DIY stuff I could do. Is this like you paint it with the kids? No, it's a light up ornament. <laughs> That's why I don't do DIY. But this stuff's painting, we've got crafts. So this is the stuff that I could do. If it's already there, if it comes with a paint kit, I can crack it out for my kids and say, paint this reindeer. This is more my DIY style. These tags are cute. We can make our own tags. They're only $2.99, half off. So I'm all about, I think I'm gonna have to buy these. I, I'm all about these kind of kids' crafts. My kids are getting older, so they're probably gonna be like, really, mom? Like, we don't wanna do kids' crafts anymore. They've got like your glitters and your tinsel and your beads. Um, oh, more stuff that you can paint. I don't know what you do with these. I'm not, I'm not like about all that life. Oh, uh, kids, more things, more things. Kid, oh, you think my kids are too big to paint this? You think 11 and 15 that they'll, they want these little markers to paint or they're going to be like, mom, stop it. Uh, I wish they were little. When they were little, they like to do all this stuff still. I still like to do it. We've got all of the little sequins and all of the little Christmas arts and crafty stuff over here. More end caps. This one's got like whites and creams happening here. And oh, this is like a green sparkly tree. I'm really liking this. Super cute with the wood base. I'm loving these colors. It's like this light crisp green, these sparkly reindeer, but they're very subtle. It's not like thick sparkles. And then the snow on this and it's like fuzzy. This, I'm, I'm digging this table, guys. I'm digging all of this. At Birdhouse, it's, it's, again, it's got the snow. Winter Wonderland. I think we've seen these colors before, but I'm still digging this gold tree and the gold accents. I could still be on board with these. Love, love, love them. Here's some more maybe like outsidey stuff for maybe your front yard. I'm liking these. They've got it all. And then I'm gonna be doing a home decor video here soon with all this, because I'm just trying to stay focused here. But they have so many, ugh, stay happy. Hustle hard. They have a lot of cute decor for regular all year long too. So now we've got like, are they, I just had a rent, are they poinsettias? Is that what they're called? Poinsettias. Um, we've got some greenery and some red. We've got some stuff for you to make those centerpieces again. They've just got it all. And then they're like, here, here's fall. We, we still love you, fall. <laughs> we love, we love you. I do love the mums, but I love the Christmas better. So 
I came back yesterday from Hobby Lobby and I was like super excited to decorate for Christmas. Like I can't even contain myself now. I am ready. I saw their winter wonderland and I'm ready to create that in my house. So I had found, did I find, did I find, yes. Okay, so I told you guys yesterday in the store, I was not lying, that I have a sweater sock stocking obsession and I have the best ones. So these are our stockings. They have the little hooks so you can hang them. I mean, I have the best, I have the best stocking ever. Like look at, they have like these raised circle polka dot things and it is like the thickest, softest sweater material. It's like this light cream color. It's everything you ever want in a stocking. One of my other kiddos has this one. It's a sweater material as well. It's got a little hook. And this one is more of a candy cane. They picked them out. I let them pick out which one they wanted, but I also said it has to, it has to be a sweatery material. And then my other kiddo picked this one. It has really cute buttons on here. And then it's got the Christmas trees, same material. So I love, I don't really like to matchy matchy all of the time, but you wanna make sure that they at least like blend. Like these match, but they're not identical. So I think it gives a really cute look and it's very unique. And I, this is like one of my must haves for Christmas. So I do rotate some of my decor. I bought some stuff yesterday. I'm, I got rid of some stuff today that I was like, why did I buy this? Like, I don't like it. But the, there are statement items that I'm gonna show you like these that are like, I don't think I'm ever parting with these. Like, I absolutely love these. The other one that I'm attached to, maybe it's because they're comfort items. <laughs> I just realized as I was holding the sweater and now I have another sweater, uh, blanket. But you have to find yourself a plaid blanket. Like, it's everything, you have to have it. Like, look, I'm just ready. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready to go to a cabin. I'm ready for Winter Wonderland. So I'm super picky with my blankets. And you know, you know when you like put a blanket on and it like sticks to your skin, like if, you're, if you need lotion on your hands and feet, it, I don't have nasty feet. But like, you know if it like sticks to your feet and you're, it's just not like comfy and cozy, it has to be a certain material. This had to be a certain color plaid. It has to have fringe, it has to be soft, it can't be too hot, it can't be too thick. It has to be perfect. So this is the perfect flannel um, blanket. And I think I found this at Marshall's last year because I wanted to buy like four of the same one because I wanted to keep it, but they didn't have it, they had one, so it's mine. And I kept this out for like three months after Christmas last year because I loved it. Like it came to my kiddos football games with me. It was like my blanket in the car. I just love everything. But I wanted to get super excited about it again this year, so I put it away. So this will be out for like the next six months, but now I'm excited to have it again. And I'm ready for like hot chocolate, right? So I have my mugs. I guess I do really like the black. So these have like a speckled inside. How super cute are those? And then they have the different plaid and we are just like ready for hot cocoa. Who doesn't want to come over and have hot cocoa with people, right? I also have this mug that was gifted to me last year. Uh, there was two of these. Alec, what happened to the other Christmas tree mug? No, I think I broke it. Um, but it's got a cute bow, it's got the polka dots, and inside it has a Christmas tree, guys, and it has a little snow on it. So I guess hot cocoa for one, or you can mix matching hot cocoa, hot cocoa for two. So the other item that you need to make sure that you have is some kind of wreath. So I like to go simple. I've had this one for a couple years now. It's a little smushed from being in the bin. I'm gonna have to like stretch it out. But I loved this one. It's got the frosted white. I love the classic like Winter Wonderland vibes. Go out front and my outside. And then last year I had a bow on here. I think I had a red one. This year I'm kind of wanting to maybe do like a burlap to so switch it up. So if you have a statement wreath that you like, you can switch out different things to make it pop every year. You can put the little, what's the little thing that you like kiss under? Uh, mistletoe. You could put like some mistletoe or some holly so you can decorate those wreaths. And then I always love, you can't have enough Christmas trees. I got these last year at Hobby Lobby actually. They sparkle, they light up. I don't know if you can tell um, these two light up. I have a green one somewhere, I can't find it, but it's always good to make sure you decorate in groups of three and they're three different heights. So there is a green one and it's kind of like in the middle of these. So these can go on your entryway table. That's where I usually put them and I usually put some like snow around them. I'm getting so excited. And then, what's my other thing I really like? Oh, these guys here. So I love ones like this. I love things that are like Christmas colors that you could just do so much with each year. So last year I put these in a, a, a tall flower vase actually. Um, I love doing that with ornaments too. So if you have random, those, um, like yesterday all that, the whole aisle of like the boxed ornaments that come in and there's still different colors inside, just empty those in like a flower vase and it gives such an amazing statement. You can put it on your table, you can use it in a centerpiece. Um, you can even use those like if you have a tray or a dough bowl, you can put ornaments in there. Those are super cute for your centerpieces. And I thought I had, 
I have my, my elf Christmas hat. But those are kind of my favorites. I still have like five boxes in the garage that were like falling all over me. I should have recorded it because it was funny. But I can't find all of my stuff right now. I'm going to go dig through those. But those are my must-haves for Christmas. Make sure you find yourself your blankies and your mugs and your sweater stockings because they are the best. And Hobby Lobby has them this year. So go out and find them. And I want to see lots of pictures of all of your decor for Christmas. So let's talk Christmas traditions. If you guys don't have Christmas traditions with your family, you're doing it wrong. You've gotta have a couple and you've gotta make those memories. So I actually have two. My first one that I do with my kiddos every single year is something that I actually did with my family growing up with my brother. So we have a Santa. Our, our scarecrow is about to be replaced with Mr. Santa. So this guy, I'm sure you guys know what this is about, but hey Alex, see if I participate. What is the Santa Claus for that we do every year? It's for candy. He's not totally grown up. Okay, so we put candy in here for all the days of the year, not the year, the, of the month, and then it's a countdown for Christmas. So when they were little, they used to come out in their little jammies and their Christmas matching PJs and be like, can we eat the candy yet? And I'm like, we have to do it before bed, you have to wait. So now it's definitely like, go eat the candy before bed. So, I, so mommy knows there's only 14 days left till Christmas. Like I'm more excited than them, but this was actually mine when I was a kid. And then when my kids get have kids, I'm gonna give it to them. So this is a tradition that I love to do with my family. And I'm not always sentimental and I don't usually do those types of, like I don't hold on to stuff, but this is definitely something that has meaning for me. It's probably one of the only things now that I'm thinking about it. This is probably one of the only things I have, like from my childhood. I don't hold on to stuff like that, but I've got Santa. I'm holding on to Santa, and then my kids are gonna have Santa, and I love filling this with candy, and that we get to eat it, and I definitely put a piece in there for me as well. And then the other holiday tradition that we do, it looks a little rough because it's just, it's, this, is, this was made a long time ago. Um, and then my son last year, he wanted to get a head start on this, but we have a countdown bell. So both of our traditions are for countdowns because clearly we love Christmas or mom wants to know when Christmas is. I'm gonna read it to you. Each night before Christmas, before you lay down your head, take off one loop, then hop into bed. When Christmas will come, tis easy to tell, for that is the night that you come to the bell. My kid is over here. He knows. So every night, since my kids were little, we would take a loop off the bell. So like December 1st, we, we cut out all the strips and we staple them and we make our bell and we make our chain and we hang it up. And it's not fancy, it's literally homemade. I've literally written it with Sharpie and we cut out this together. I think one of my kids cut this out. So it means something to me. And again, like this is something I'll probably hand down to my kids. Like these are two things that I love. They're traditions that I'll carry. And sentimental, right? So like Nicole doesn't hold on to anything. I mean anything. Like artwork is up for two days, throw it away. Like if you get like, we, I just don't hold on to stuff like that. But I realized when I was like, I'm going to do a video for Christmas. I am super sentimental and attached to ornaments my kids have made me. So you know when they're in elementary school and every year at school, they make those really cute ornaments every year. And come on, let's be real. Like the teacher made this. I know because this was like 2016. My kid was like four. He didn't paint all these puzzle pieces and glue them and put the bow on, but it's like, oh my gosh, the teacher writes on the back, Merry Christmas 2016, love Alec. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to keep this forever. And then as they get a little older, like they do, they start to make them themselves and they glue the little googly eyes on them and the nose. And both of my kids have made these. So like, I, I know they didn't do these themselves, but like I love the teachers because they came up with these cute ideas and they're on my tree. I have like so many of them. I have a whole bin in the garage of nothing but ornaments that they've made me. And I just, I can't get enough of them. Like this one's ginger. I always wanted to like, smell, smell it through the phone. It's gingerbread, and this was made in 2015, and it still smells. So I'm gonna have to find the recipe. Is this the recipe? Something spicy and pretty too for the holiday season to say I love you. No recipe. I'll have to find it because this still smells like gingerbread cookies. It smells so good. And then another thing we do is ever since they were little, like every year, I'll put their pictures in an ornament, and we'll put the year on it. So I have I have these for every year as well. So I guess I'm super sentimental when it comes to. Christmas stuff that my kids have made me. So there you go. I am sentimental with that kind of stuff. I do have like the frames of them with Santa. This one has jingle bells and plaid. And I've got all of our books that we read. 
like another tradition is we always read the books. I mean, who doesn't have Twist the Night Before Christmas? Like, if you don't, like, I will buy you one. Call me. And we've got all of these books. We've got our stuffed animals. Let's see if he still works. He doesn't work. He needs some batteries. But he does a little jingle jangle. He does a little dance. He's not going to work for us today. But I love having holiday traditions with my family. They just make it extra special. They make your heart full. And I hope that you guys have family traditions with your family. So I want to see in the comments, drop what you guys do with your family. Because I'm always looking to add some traditions. And if you guys want to find a countdown or if you guys want to do the bell with us this year and start your own holiday traditions for Christmas, that would make my heart so happy. So share what you guys do. And if you want more fun and go on the journey and see what else excites Nicole, not only Christmas, there's lots that excite me. Be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the bell so you never miss a beat or a basket or when Santa's coming. Bye, guys.